Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. I greet you all in the wonderful and in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank the Lord that this is truly the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Bless the Lord. So, family of God, I'm so excited to come to you at this present moment to encourage the body of Christ and to share with you some awesome biblical truth what the Lord is saying to the church of Jesus Christ. Amen. So praise the Lord. Amen. So we're just going to wait for people to come on and, and then we will begin um, this lesson. Bless the Lord. bless you thank you for the greetings god bless you thank you lord Praise the Lord, everybody. So, Father, we just want to say thank you and we give you praise. We give you glory and we give you honor. We thank you for this moment that we could come together, oh God. And, Lord, oh God, we just want to worship you, Father. We want to honor you, King of glory. And, Lord, we want to be open to you, what you have to say to us. Um, thank you, Holy Spirit. We submit to your leading and your guidance your direction and your governancy i thank you father that you take all the glory in jesus name we give you praise we give you praise and we give you honor in jesus name we pray amen amen well greetings beloved of god in the wonderful and precious name of our lord and savior jesus christ um, we serve a good god we serve an awesome god Amen. Uh, amen. Bless the Lord. Um, I'm excited what the Lord wants to share with us um, in this lesson and um, what God wants to say to his people um, in this hour <clears throat> and in this time. So we, we're just going to submit to the Spirit of God. Amen. I believe, family of God, that... Um, <clears throat> mm, God is restoring the tabernacle of David, and this is what this 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 prophetic word is um, uh, being released now. Um, God is restoring the tabernacle of David. Praise the Lord. God is restoring the tabernacle of David. Bless the Lord. Amen. Let's look at um, Acts thirteen verse twenty two. Acts 13 verse 22. Bless the Lord. Amen. Acts 13 verse 22. 
those that do assist me on the comment section god bless you thank you once again for your <clears throat> assistance um in advance praise the lord amen amen bless the lord amen i just want to share this broadcast on my side as well i believe that god is restoring um, the tabernacle of David. Amen. Amen. Can somebody please put that scripture up for me, please? Acts 13, verse 22. Thank you. Thank you, Madalu. God bless you. Thank you for that. Praise the Lord. Just give me a moment, please. I just want to share this on my side, please. The broadcast. Thank you for your patience and your cooperation and your obedience. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Mm. Okay, praise the Lord. Let's continue. And so we're looking at Acts 13 verse 22. Praise the Lord. And the word of God says, And when he had disposed him, he raised up David to be the king. Of him he bore witness and said, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will do all my will and carry out my program fully. Mm. Wow, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will do all my will and carry out my program fully. I believe that God is restoring the tabernacle of David. Praise the Lord. And we're going to go more in depth into this lesson um, so please pay attention. Let's go on this journey with the Lord, what he's saying to us in this uh, lesson. Praise God. Let's look at Psalms 89 verse 20. Psalms 89 verse 20. Psalms 89 verse 20. And the word of the Lord says, I have found David my servant with my holy oil have I anointed him i have found david my servant with my holy oil have i anointed him praise the lord hallelujah amen thank you jesus um let's look at first samuel 13 14 first samuel 13 14 amen first samuel 13 14 1 Samuel 13, 14. Amen. 1 Samuel 13, 14. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. 1 Samuel 13, 14. Amen. But now your kingdom shall not continue. The Lord has sought out David, a man after his own heart. I want you to pay careful attention to the statement. A man after his own heart a man after god's heart god's own heart praise the lord god is restoring the tabernacle of david praise the lord mm. thank you father thank you father thank you lord we give you praise that's very important a man after his own heart 
And the Lord has commanded him to be prince and ruler over his people because you have not kept what the Lord had commanded you. For you have not kept what the Lord has commanded you. Let's mm, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. So let's 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 go back to Acts 13 22. Listen to this. And when he had disposed him, he raised up David to be the king of him who he bore witness and said, I found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. There's a there. Who will do my will? Point number two. Who will do the will of the Father? God is restoring the tabernacle of David. All right. We are points we're taking from this right now. God is restoring the tabernacle of David. Number one, we understand this here, that God is looking for people who is after his own heart. Point number two, people that will do his will. Point number three, people that will carry out God's instructions in the manner in which it needs to be carried out. Those are three points. I hope you I hope you're understanding this, people of God. Right. Now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now, as Israel family of God, let's go back into the Word of God and we look at the Old Testament. As Israel continued to backslide, as Israel continued to backslide and worship idols, the tabernacle began to fall down. Israel forsook the true worship of God and took up idolatry. The tabernacle of David eventually ended in ruins. Though the prophet Amos prophesied of the day it would be Rebuilt. Now let's let's go into the scripture. Let's go into the scripture. Amos chapter nine verse eleven. Thank you for all those that are on the comment section. Thank you for all tuning in. Please share this broadcast. Amen. Hallelujah. We we releasing um, the apostolic prophetic word of the Lord in this season. Amen. Amos nine verse eleven. This is the prophet Amos uh, declaring the word of the Lord. Amen. Uh, prophesying that. The, temp, the tabernacle would be rebuilt. Amos 9 verse 11. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David. God is restoring the tabernacle of David. Right. The prophet Amos de de decreed the, the prophetic word and he said, In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David. The fallen hut or booth and close up its bridges. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. And I will raise up its rooms and I will build it as in the days of old. This is the word of the Lord. Acts 15 verse 16. Acts 15 verse 16. Amen. Acts 16 verse 15. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. Acts 15, verse 16. And the word of the Lord says, After this, I, I will come back and will rebuild the house of David. which has fallen because why has it fallen because they have backslidden from the lord they began to worship idols and that's what brought the downfall to the tabernacle all right because israel forsook true worship of god to god and they took up idolatry now what does we see today People have forsaken true worship to God in the sanctuary, personally in their life and also in the sanctuary. And they have taken up idolatry, worshipping idols. 
people are not worshipping the true living God. They're worshipping the psalmists. They're worshipping the minstrels. They're worshipping the items. They're worshipping a man or a woman of God. They're worshipping the beautification of the sanctuary. But they are not worshipping the true living God. God cannot enter the building if sin is in the house. That's why it's important to understand this, that you must have anointed psalmists and anointed minstrels in the house of God. Are you understanding this, people of God? Everything that's in the place of the sanctuary has to be holy. That is holy ground. People that are involved in psalmist or minstrel in the worship, praise and worship team, must be anointed. Not gifted, anointed. Praise the Lord, because you can be so gifted and yet not anointed. Mm -hmm. So you must be anointed. We read in the scriptures, David anointed as king. David was anointed. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you understanding this, people of God? So David was anointed. And we see every time when Saul would be attacked by the demonic spirit or the evil spirit, when Saul was attacked, he would call for David because David was anointed by God. Every time when he played the harp, that spirit would leave Saul. Saul would receive deliverance because David was anointed. Are you understanding this, people of God? That's why it's important in the house of God that you have anointed psalmists and anointed minstrel team anointed by God, not focusing on being gifted and talented. They must be anointed because it's the anointing of God that destroys the yokes of bondages. Are you understanding this? So as they are anointed to take people into the throne room, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise God, there will be a freedom of liberty in that house, hallelujah, that people will encounter Jesus. <laughs> People will encounter the outpouring of the power of God, of the presence of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And in that atmosphere, you will begin to see miracles, signs, and wonders. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. That God comes into that place and he takes over when you submit to the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. So you must have anointed psalmists and minstrels. Number two, they must be holy. They must be holy. They must live holy lives. Are you, are you understanding this, people of God? Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. They cannot be one foot in the world and one foot in the church. And you want to come and you want to play and you want to sing. And, 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 and God cannot move because it's being contaminated because of sin. Mm -hmm. My God. My God. Hallelujah. And so it is important, family of God, that... We must have psalmists and minstrels that are anointed and that live holy 
lives. Not about gifts, not about talents, not about looks. You think God cannot move because you are not there singing or you are not there playing? Who made you God? God will move when we submit to Holy Spirit. And he will come in and he will do what he needs to do. Too long we have placed our programs ahead of Holy Spirit. We have dishonored the Lord. We have displeased God because we focus on our programs and we are not open to the Holy Spirit. We are not open to the move of the Spirit of God. It is a sad reality that we have more talented and gifted psalmists and minstrels, but we don't have anointed. We don't have anointed and holy psalmists and minstrels. Sad reality. This is the truth. And God is speaking to us that we have to put our program aside and stop offending God. Stop offending the person, Holy Spirit, to come into the house and to do what God wants to be done. In that house. Are you understanding this? People of God. Jesus says my house. Shall be called a house of prayer. But you have made it a den of robbers. Hmm. We have drifted away from the pattern. We have drifted away from the heart of worship. And all we're just excited is because we're going to church. We have in church. And then you come out of that place and you say, oh, didn't we have church? I don't want church. I want to encounter God. I want to encounter the glory of God. I want to encounter the presence of God. Mm. Mm. I want God to come into that place. And for God to take over. Because why? People need to receive from the Lord. It's amazing you can go in and come out the same. Yes, it's your personal worship to God. Your relationship is personal. That's why I said God is restoring the tabernacle of David to you as a person because your life is the temple of God. You're also the tabernacle. So your worship must be true to God in spirit and in truth as well as your worship coming together in a fellowship gathering in the sanctuary must also be in spirit and in truth. Are you understanding this? Mm, okay. God says, I found a man. I found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart who will do all my will. The scripture says that we have to put a difference between what is clean and unclean. What is holy and what is unholy. We got to put a difference. We got to stop compromising. The word of God. 
stop compromising the word of God, the standard of God. Stop bringing Korath into the church. We think we have to bring Korath into the church to get the world into the church, but the church is behaving and looks just like the world. Mm -hmm. And God is not in that place and, and God is not in that worship and God is not in that praise but you're excited because it sounds good it feels good but is it God? And God says I'm not in that because you have been traumatized by your emotions and feelings but you've not encountered the presence of God you have not gone deeper in God. And so you just stuck because you felt good. We want to go past the flesh. We want to go into the spirit. We want to go past the flesh. We want to go past the outer courts. Past the inner courts. And go into the holies of holies. And flesh cannot go there. That's why the flesh has to die. The flesh has to die. Only spirit connects to spirit. Deep calls unto deep. And that's why we have to be yielded vessels to the spirit of God. It is a sad reality when leaders or, 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 or psalmist leaders um, cannot discern the mood and the move of the Holy Spirit. And you can just cut it off because you just want your program or you cut it off because you want to take up the tithes and the offering or you cut it off because of whatever reason. <laughs> And God is moving. And God wants to move. But we are limiting him. Because we want things to be done the way we want it to be done. And the way people expect it to be done. Because why? It is comfortable for them. And that's church. I want church. I don't want church. You and I must become the true church. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, we have to put a difference. We have to put a difference. This is very important. Are you understanding this? Because there's places in God that God wants to take us to in the realm of the spirit. Dimensions and in each dimension there are levels. And you cannot take the people to a place where you are not. That's why I said the psalmist at the minstrel must be anointed. They must be in the face of God, seeking the face of God, uh, in time of prayer and fasting and, and living a holy life so that they can be open to the prophetic dimension of worship to take people to that prophetic dimension mm. where Holy Spirit comes in Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And you're not limited by your songs. Um, when Holy Spirit steps in, he, he disrupts your programs. That sometimes you, you just can sing one song and he's moving. God is moving. Sometimes he can download prophetic new words or new lyrics or a scripture that can become a prophetic song, a, a, a song from the Lord, a, a word of the Lord within the meeting because why you have opened and you've yielded to Holy Spirit.
And in that place you will encounter God. There will be a shift in the atmosphere. A shift in the atmosphere. My God. Thank you Lord. That you will begin to see the demonstration of the power of God. Evidently. In that gathering. Because people come together in that place of a corporate anointing. In unity. In one accord. In harmony. Are you understanding this people of God? It's got nothing to do about cliques and 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 he who sings better and 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 who sounds better and and, and and who can play better. It's about people that is after God, people that are hungry, people that are thirsty after righteousness sake, people that want God. You got to have a strong hunger and a desire. And a determination that you want God. That you want to seek after righteousness sake. That you are hungry. Uh, the Greek translation says that you are hungering and thirsting after righteousness sake. They shall be filled. They shall be Satisfied. You got to be willing to move past religion, tradition, and culture and step into the supernatural. Mm. My God. Now, the tabernacle of David is a type of the apostolic church. And uh, David is a type of the apostolic ministry. So today, family of God, through God restoring the tabernacle of David, God restoring the apostolic church, God is rebuilding the tabernacle of David through the restoration of the apostolic church. Mm, my, my, my. Okay. And in this tabernacle of David, in this, through this ministry, apostolic ministry, it will have the spirit of David. Mm. The spirit is here, yeah, it is the essential nature of a person or a group. It is an attitude or principle that inspires or pervades thought, feeling or action. It will have the spirit of David. David was anointed and he was a man after God's own heart. Mm. My God, that when anointed and holy psalmists and minstrels start to sing and play and worship God, healings, supernatural healings will begin to take place. My God, supernatural healings will begin to take place. Deliverance will begin to take place. My God, hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Father. David was the sweetest psalmist of Israel, according to 2 Samuel 23, verse 1. He was an anointed minstrel, according to, Saul, according to 1 Samuel 16, 23. When he played, every time when he played in the presence of Saul, being tormented by the evil spirit every time when David played, Saul was refreshed. And this is when you in the gathering of anointed and, 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 and holy psalmist and minstrel that is worshipping God in spirit and in truth. 
let me tell you, you will be refreshed. Your soul will be refreshed, will be revived, will be rejuvenated. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. You will be refreshed. Anointed minstrels release refreshing. To refresh means to give you to give you new freshness or brightness to restore, to fill up again, and to replenish and to revive. Okay, that is powerful. Amen. Saul was also made well and whole when David would play the harp. His total being would be made whole. In other words, healing would take place. Healing will take place within the gathering when you have people that is after God's own heart. Not after title, not after gifts, not after positions. Not of the looks, but is after God's own heart. And when you are playing instruments or you are singing family of God, you need to have a personal, intimate relationship with the Lord. And you've got to be spending time with the Father. Because you have to take people into the throne room. Are you understanding this? And you cannot do this with arrogance and attitude and unforgiveness and pride and competition. You see some people standing up there in the front and even playing with attitude, arrogance. Because you're more focused on what? Your gift. You want to sound good. But you are not singing under the, under the utterance of the Spirit of God. You're not playing the instruments under the anointing of God. You're playing it because you're talented to play it. And what is happening is that the psalmist and the, and the minstrel team is not in tune with the Spirit of God. But they are in tune with the man's system within the church. And we are missing God in the sanctuary. And people are leaving the same. Sometimes people are so accustomed to that culture. That we are doing a dysfunctional honor towards them. When we are leaving them in that place of the comfort zone. And we're not willing to take them higher. My God. This is why you have to be in God leaders. Leaders of the sanctuaries. You've got to be in God. You've got to be in tune with the frequency of heaven. Mm. My God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. <sighs> Stop allowing... Things, your church, religion, tradition and culture, rituals to replace Holy Spirit within the house of God. Even within your personal life, in you engaging with God, in your personal intimate worship. Mm -hmm. So in the presence of God, amen, amen, praise the Lord, under anointed psalmists and minstrels that are in tune with the frequency of heaven to hear the sound of heaven when they release the sound of heaven on earth because they're in one accord in unity and in harmony with the spirit of God people will be refreshed souls will be refreshed lives will be refreshed Number two, healing will take place. And number three, deliverance 
will take place. The evil spirit departed from Saul when David played the harp. The spirit of David is a spirit of deliverance. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. I pray that this is blessing you, family of God. We got to return back to God. We got to return back to doing things God's way in the house of God. we got to honor God in everything. Praise the Lord. David was a seeker and a worshiper of God. He loved the presence of God. True psalmists and minstrels worshippers that come into the sanctuary oh hallelujah amen into the tabernacle of David will be true worshippers that worship God in spirit and in truth mm. and you know in that place you not restricted by your looks, your, your, your makeup, um, time, who's next to you, who's in front of you, who's behind you, because it's you, it's, it's you and God at that moment, because you want God. You want God. You don't want church, you want God. You want more of His presence. Hallelujah. Oh, Kuraba Sanda Dabashi Katarabasi. Labra Sanda Dabashi Katarababasuta. Stir up the hunger, O oh God. Stir up the hungering and the thirstering for more of your presence, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Teach us, Holy Spirit. Teach us how to worship God in spirit and in truth. I always say this. When I observe a person on how they worship God through their expression shows me an indication of their relationship with God. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's why it is very important that you are early when you go to the house of God. Very important. Very important. Are you understanding this, people of God? Because yeah, you worshiping God, you are you worshiping God, and somebody comes in so late that they disturb your worship because now they have to pass through you, <laughs> you know, to get to the seat, and and yeah, they disturb you in your worship. That's why it's very important to be early prepare your heart prepare yourself amen hallelujah hallelujah family of god the question is this how much do you want god the second question is this do you want god or do you just want church that's a question that only you can answer. And I made a bold statement in our service on sun, this past Sunday. And I said, I'm doing 
God. God is raising up a generation that will stand at the forefront to do things God's way, exactly how he wants it to be done. With God, for God, through God, with his help, for God to get the glory. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Come on. Uh, and so when you are in the psalmist and minstrel team, you also have to make sure that you dress holy. I, I, I love to use that word terminology. I, I would say to my team, dress holy. Now, it's very important how you dress um, when you are leading God's people. Amen. You, you, the word of God says that you have to dress modestly. Mm. You do not dress and wear things that draws attention to yourself. Come on. Oh, my, 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 that you distract the people and you shift their focus of God and they're focusing now on you. You must dress holy. Okay. Amen. This word is to the ecclesia and to the remnant. Let him who has an ear hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. Revelations 2 verse 29. Are you understanding this people of God? So you must dress modestly. Are you understanding this? You don't wear anything that will draw attention to yourself. Cover yourself up. Cover all of you up. Are you, are you understanding this? Cover all of you up. There should be nothing showing. No cleavages and all these things showing. Okay? Because all of that, revealing all of that doesn't make you holy. Let me make that clear. That don't make you holy. Because you can have wonderful voices and talented musicians, but not anointed. A fruitless people, not full of the Holy Spirit, not living holy lives, and people leave the place the same. People are not being healed. People are not being delivered. People are not being set free. People are not even encountering Jesus. The name of Jesus is not even being lifted up. It's more of the glitz and the glamour. And where is God in all of this? Where is the Holy Spirit in all of this? And we want to replace Holy Spirit by doing ritual, religious things in the sanctuary? Who has bewitched you? That you've started off in the Spirit and now you want to operate in the flesh? Open the door to the Spirit of perversion? Idolatry worship? God is not involved in that. God is not involved in your worship of profane, profane worship. God is not involved in profane worship. He's not involved in uncleanliness worship, unrighteousness worship, unholiness worship. God is not involved in your performances. Because all we see majority of the time today is a whole bunch of performances. And people are so happy we had church today. You had church? Have you forgotten that you are the church of Jesus Christ? And you are still the same? 
No change, no deliverance, no healing, no refreshing, no revival. You have not been revived, restored, replenished. You have not been filled up. You leave that place empty because all you had was church and, and all you saw was performances. No anointing, no glory in the house. Holy Spirit is not present there. Mm. And we need, and we think we need to have all these material things to replace the Holy Spirit. Let the lights go. Let's put it off and let the other lights flash and, 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 and then let the smoke machine do all of this. And then family of God. Where is holiness in the sanctuary? Why? Because there's no holiness in the leadership. There's no holiness in the psalmist and the minstrel. But we're just happy. We're having church. And we're doing church. But we are not doing God. We have to get on the altar. And cry out to God. With the heartfelt of repentance. Because we have drawn people to us. To the world and not to Jesus. Help us, Lord. David was a seeker. David was a worshipper of God. David was a seeker of God. He loved the presence of God. When you are a lover of God's presence and you are a carrier of God's presence, when you go to the sanctuary, you're not concerned who's around you, who's behind you, who's in front of you. You're not concerned about anything. It's just you and God. And you will make sure that you give God your best. Let me say this. It is disrespectful in the psalmist and minstrel team, and even when you go to the house of God, it is disrespectful to worship God, and here you are chewing gum. Or bubble gum like there's no tomorrow. It is disrespectful to God. You more on your phone, you more on your cell phone, and you're not engaging with worship to God, and even not willing to listen to the word because you're distracted. But you're happy that you went to church. That's why it's important before you even start singing, the psalmist and the minstrel team must be in early to intercede and to pray. They must repent and they must confess their sins and they must receive the blood of Jesus to wash them and cleanse them. Before they go before God's people. That's why we have to get on the altar and allow the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost and fire to cleanse us, consecrate us, sanctify us, purify our hearts, purify our minds. Because we don't want to make God ashamed. Praise the Lord. Everything has to be anointed. Amen. That's how when I get into the sanctuary, I, re I decree and I declare apostolic grace, apostolic anointing 
on the psalmist team, um, um, on the instruments, although we don't use it now at the moment, but I decree it and I declare it. This past Sunday, um, we began to intercede before we began fellowship. We began to intercede and no instruments, no, no. We just began to intercede and pray and seek God. And I tell you, Holy Spirit, family of God, may I tell you, Holy Spirit came into that place. There was a Holy Ghost pandemonium that broke out. My God. That people began to cry out to God. People began to receive impartation. People began to be delivered and, 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 and healed and, and, and set free. Praise the Lord. We didn't even go into doing praise and worship. We just submitted to the Holy Spirit. And that's why it's so important that leaders of the house must be in tune to the Spirit of God. And not be focusing on wanting things to go how they want it to go. And it must always be this way because they're scared to make the change. Because they're scared of what people might say or think or people might just leave. When things are not done the way they want it to be done. Let me tell you this leaders. Do Everything exactly the way God wants it to be done. You do it. You hear and obey God. Are you understanding this? Absolutely, Marilou. She was present in our past Sunday meeting. God bless you. Absolutely. It was a God moment. It was a God movement. And in that, time, in that moment, we saw miracles, signs, wonders. The, we, we, the prophetic was, well, the prophetic grace, my God, just came into that house. My God, hallelujah. My God, the prophetic grace was so strong. The prophetic anointing was so strong. Um, speaking into the lives of people. People began to receive from the Lord. It was a God movement. It was a Holy Ghost movement. Are you understanding this? And the reason why he could do that is because I was sensitive to the mood, M-O-O-D, and the move, M-O-V-E, of the Holy Spirit. That's something you have to learn. You have to discern the mood and the move of the Holy Spirit. Are you understanding this? It has nothing to do with programs. And I only took the platform to minister when God was done what he needed to do at that moment. But you can never stop what God is doing. Never stop what God is doing. The scripture says, don't quench the spirit of God. Don't quench. That even if you don't minister in that gathering, it's okay. As long as you submit to the will of God, to the leading and the guidance and the governance of the spirit of God, that's what you have to do. Oh my God. Mm. Don't be focused on your programs. We must want God. We must have a determination and a desperation that we want God. Stop disturbing the move of the Holy Spirit because of your programs, because of your agenda. Um, because you want to say the announcements or you want to take up the offering you're more concerned about all these other things and yet you're not in tune to the spirit of God 
for God to take his people to a place where he is taking you as the leader in the spirit in that gathering. Listen to me, psalmists and minstrels. You cannot want to go do the wrong thing Saturday or even any other day, but you want to go do whatever you want to do Saturday. And then you want to come in there on a Sunday morning. And you want to come in there lounging. That it was all about you. It's not about you. It's about God. Leaders, stop just allowing anyone to play and sing in your house. In God's house. Check the fruit. Because God will deal with you. We need to live for truth and righteousness and justice and fairness and holiness in our everyday life and even in the sanctuary. Stop making God a mockery in the house of God. Doing all things that's not scriptural because you want to gain the attention of popularity. And you're giving people what they want. Stop giving people what they want. Start giving people what they need. Mm. I'm going to say that again. Stop giving people what they want. And start giving them what they need. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Okay. David feared God, yet he was a fighter. He was a champion. Obviously, David's tabernacle would have his spirit. He was its founder and builder. We should see the same spirit of David in the apostolic church today. David raised up this tabernacle and gave Israel a pattern of worship. We need to return back to the true pattern of worship and worship God in the complete ordinance and standards of God's word. Stop giving God what you think he wants and start giving God what he wants, what he deserves. Stop giving God your leftovers. Give God what he deserves. Mm -hmm. Remember, apostles bring patterns to the church. And this is what I'm doing through this lesson. David is a type of apostolic ministry in that he left for Israel a pattern of worship. Songwriter says, I'm coming back to the heart of worship because it's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. The tabernacle of David was simply this tent erected by him in which the ark of God was placed. The ark of God was placed in the tabernacle of David, in the tent, right? Praise God. <clears throat> Surrounding this tent were musicians and singers who praised the Lord. This is very important. First Chronicles 16 verse 37. Let's look at that. First Chronicles 16 verse 37. Please share this broadcast, family of God. Thank you. First Chronicles 16 verse 37. This is the word of God. So David left Asaph and his brethren before the ark of the covenant of the Lord to minister before the ark continually as each day's work required. 
This was prophetic worship established by David. Praise God. First Chronicles 25 verse 1 and 2. First Chronicles 25 verse 1 and 2. Also David and the chiefs of the host of the Lord separated to the temple service some of the sons of Asaph, Heman, and Jeduathan, who should prophesy being inspired with harps and cymbals. The list of the musicians according to their service was of the sons of Asaph, Zakar, Joseph, Nethaniah, and the sons of Asaph under the direction of Asaph who prophesied. And also of the sons of Asheriah who prophesied, witnessed and testified under divine inspiration in keeping with the king's order. Now listen to this very importantly, these two passages of scriptures that I've given to you. Prophetic worship includes new songs, spontaneous songs, and prophetic songs. We got to get to the place of prophetic worship. Be open to the Spirit of God downloading prophetic songs. Are you understanding this? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. That they, Because now they are in tune with the frequency of heaven. So the sound of heaven will be echoed in the earth. And we will see a manifestation of the power and the glory of God. The supernatural move of God. That God does it all by himself. Mm. Okay. Point number two. It releases the psalmist and the minstrels to flow prophetically in the house of the Lord. Get out of your religion. Get your churchifiedness out of you. Come into alignment to the frequency of of heaven through the spirit of God by the leading of the spirit of God and you being in total submission to the authority of God God does not need your performances okay the tabernacle of David represents true worship God wants true worship God deserves true worship are you understanding this? Praise God. Amen. The tabernacle of David represents true worship. This worship that is done in spirit and in truth. John 4 verse 23 and 24. John 4 verse 23 and 24. This is the word of the Lord. A time will come. However, indeed, it is already here. Somebody type in there for me. It is already here. It is already here. A time will come, however, indeed, it is already here. When the true, genuine worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. The word truth there refers to reality. Mm. For the Father, the Father is seeking just such people as these, as his worshippers. So true worshippers of the Father are genuine worshippers that worship God in spirit and in truth. And watch this. The Father is seeking those worshippers. I still find a man that is after my own heart, David, even though he sinned, he acknowledged he sinned and he repented. 
He says, I still find a man that is after my own heart. We have to be after the heart of God. A heart of pureness, a heart of sincerity, a heart of love, a heart of gratitude, a heart of thanksgiving in our worship to God. Not ritual, not religion. Not tradition, not culture. But in the fear and the reverence of God in holiness. People disrespect the house of God. They disrespect God is because they have lost the fear of God. Mm, my God, the Father is seeking true worshippers. Somebody put that up for me, please. The Father is seeking true worshippers. And true worshippers are seeking God in spirit and in true and when you seek God in spirit and in truth watch this you will find God you will find God if you seek God with all of your heart not seeking God because you want a house, a car, money, a husband, a wife, and all that type of things. No, no, no. You're seeking after God. You're seeking after the presence of God. Knowing that He is vital necessity and essential in your life. You're seeking, yea, first the kingdom of God. Matthew 6 verse 33 says, Seek, yea, first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these other things shall be added unto you. Praise God. So we need to be, we need to be kingdom seekers. Somebody put that for me. Kingdom seekers. Not church seekers. Kingdom seekers. Point number two, God seekers and not man seekers. Mm. God seekers and not man seekers. Point number three, we need to be diligent seekers. After the kingdom, after God, after the presence of God. Scripture says in Galatians chapter 6 that God rewards those who diligently seek him. Mm. Okay, thank you Lord. Our worship family of God should have a prophetic dimension. Because the Holy Spirit is also a prophetic spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Please share this broadcast, family of God. Now, family of God. We know that according to the scripture, the word of God says that, that, that the Lord is the spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. No restrictions. Liberty. There is freedom to worship God. There is freedom to allow God, the spirit of God, to move. But we all... 
with open face beholding as in the glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory as even by the Spirit of the Lord. We want to be changed into the same image from glory to glory. We want the glory of God to come in. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, hallelujah. We must be a ministry of glory. We must become a ministry of glory. We must become a generation of glory. A carriers of the presence of God. Carriers of the glory of God. Mm. And the apostolic provides an, an, an atmosphere of glory for the people to come in and be changed. This is why you have to have anointed psalmist and minstrel people who are saved, born again. Amen. Baptized, Holy Spirit filled. Mm -hmm. Because when you have that type of people leading God's people, there will be a greater release of God's glory in that gathering. Mm. There will be a greater release of God's power, supernatural power and glory. There will be an open heaven over that gathering, over that ministry. And when, there's that, when that there is that release of the power, and the glory of God, the, the heavens open. Mm. The heavens open, my God. And there will be a release that will come forth as a result in a greater liberty that people will begin to worship and praise God. Amen. In spirit and in truth. And also in the ministry of liberty. Because where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Ah, come on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. You and I and the apostolic ministry must be known for the presence of God. I want to be known for the presence of God in my life. I want to be known for the presence of God in my life. I don't know about you, but I want to be known for the presence of God in my life. Your ministry must be known because of the presence of God that is in that place, not performances. But the presence of God. Apostolic ministry is known and will be known because of the presence of God. Apostolic ministry is known because of the presence of God. You must be known because of the presence of God in your life. Where no flesh gets any glory but God. Mm. A 
and through this it will bring forth a greater positive impact that will affect the lives of the people's spirit in a greater dimension. There will be an inward change. Thank you. There will be an inward change that will cause a glorious outward manifestation. Mm, the supernatural. Signs, wonders, miracles, healings, deliverances. Oh my, 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 my. Ah, la brocha. Because you are a carrier of God's presence and God's glory. As you sit in that seat and you get up, somebody else sitting in the place that you sat in can receive supernatural healing just like that. Because of you. My, my, my. Mm. Somebody said to me, um, um, yesterday from our meeting she said to me Apostle while you were ministering I literally saw the glory of God and then she says to me not just that but she said I could smell this was unusual I've never ever encountered this she said she says I could smell the fragrance of the glory of God as you are ministering and as you walk past. And every time you came close, I could just smell the glory on you. Oh my God. You have to be in the face of God, people of God. I pray you get to that place. That you will smell with the fragrance of Jesus. The fragrance of the presence of God. The fragrance of the glory of God. That as you walked by just your presence. Supernatural things happen just because of you, just because of you being there, just because of you being in the midst, just by, just by you being there, even, even, even your shadow. Hmm. Ah, la da ba 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 Hey, hallelujah. <laughs> We must want the presence of God. We must teach people to want the presence of God. We have to teach people to learn to practice the presence of God daily. Even when we come into the place of the sanctuary. Because we got to teach them and make known to them that, that there will be, there will be a, a, there will be a great effect, a positive effect uh, uh, and change in people's lives as they crave after the presence of God, after the glory of God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In that place, uh, people's spirit will be impacted and activated as you come into contact with God's glory. I want the glory. Somebody put that in. I want the glory. I want the glory. I want God's glory. I want God's glory. Now listen to this. When you want God's glory and when you come into contact with God's glory, your spirit is going to be impacted and activated. My God. Higher dimension. Higher dimension. Higher dimension. Higher dimension. Higher dimension. Greater dimension. Greater heights 
and higher heights in him. The apostle says, he says, I can't explain it. Whether I was, <laughs> whether I was in or out of the spirit, I, I can't explain whether I was in or out of my, 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 my body experience, paraphrasing. But he says, one thing I do know, the apostle says, I was caught up into the third heaven. Family of God, there is greater dimensions in God. There are many facets in God that we have not yet encountered because we are stuck in our church religion, culture and traditions and the format of how things have always been done. We are scared. To make the change. Let me say this to you. God cannot pour new wine. Into old wine skins. This teaching is to renew your mind. So that you put on the new wine skins. You take on the new wine skins. As you're learning truth. So that you can be prepared to receive the new wine. Mm. My, 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 my. The music, uh, the songs that we sing, the songs that we sing must be songs from the Spirit of God because it will be strong to break strongholds down and, and penetrate the hearts of people. The psalmist and the minstrel team and the church must be exposed and open to the apostolic anointing. That's why ministries need apostolic dimension. Hmm... When you are exposed to apostolic anointing, when you are exposed to apostolic anointing, you will see a, you will see a release of liberty in worship and praise and strength will be released. Strength will be released and liberty will be released through the sound of what has been sung, prophetic songs, and what has been played through anointed psalmists and minstrels. And, 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 and as they align themselves with the frequency of heaven, that's going to bring healing, deliverance. People will be refreshed and people will, will begin to encounter the move of the hand of God. The move of the supernatural hand of God. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. So get out of your traditional church. It's time to become the prototype church. The true apostolic church of Jesus Christ. Mm. And in that atmosphere, also people will be open. People will be open and be able to receive and walk in a deeper truth in that environment under that anointing. And they will be able to handle strong meat of the word of God. They will not be afraid to hear the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Are you, are you understanding this people of God?
you will experience an open heaven. And you will experience what it is to live under an open heaven each and every day of your life. Why the tabernacle of David, the tent? Because a tent can be stretched. The tent can be stretched. So in other words, there must be no limit to worshipping God. There must be no limit in you worshipping God. In this place, family of God, let me tell you this. You are going to be stretched like a tent being stretched. You are going to be stretched. Mm. True worship is going to stretch you. This anointing will open the heavens and it will keep the heavens opened and for you to experience what it is to live under an open heaven each and every day. Apostles have the grace to connect with heaven's resources and pull them down to the earth for ministry function. Family of God, when you live under an open heaven, when you live under an open heaven, you are living under refreshing anointing. Times of refreshing. The word of the Lord to our house that God has given to me. 2024, the year of times of refreshing. Hallelujah. Let's look at one more scripture. And I'm going to be delivered of this lesson. Genesis 28, 17. In, this, is, this is the time of refreshing, right? And in that place, you will be refreshed. You will be revived. You will be rejuvenated. You will be refilled. Hallelujah. All right. Genesis 28, 17. Genesis 28, 17. Bless the Lord all my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name praise his holy name oh hallelujah Genesis 28 17 please share this broadcast family those who have not please share this broadcast please go back and watch this broadcast Genesis 28 17 Mm. He was afraid and said, How to be feared and reverenced is this place. This place. This place. In the sanctuary of the Lord, the tabernacle of David, is to be feared and reverenced. We ought to fear and reverence the Lord. Hmm. This is none other than the house of God. We must reverence God. We must walk in the fear of the Lord. We must reverence the house of God. Stop disrespecting God. Stop disrespecting the house of God. He was afraid and said, how to be feared and reverence is this place. This is none other than the house of God. You need to honor the house of God. Also this house, your temple, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. You need to honor God. Walk in honor and reverence to God. This is God's body. It's not yours, it's God. You are God's property. You need to walk in holiness. And this is the gateway to heaven. Now, this is, <laughs> this, it says, this is the gateway to heaven. Oh my God, my God. Watch this. Watch this. Thank you, Father. This is the gateway to heaven. Listen to this. The church becomes the gate of heaven. 
the church becomes the gate of heaven. Through this gate, the Lord pours his blessing upon the people. Come on, people of God. When we walk in reverence and the fear of the Lord, in our gathering, when we come to worship in the sanctuary, that place is the gateway of heaven, becomes the gateway of heaven. Are you understanding this? And through this gate, the Lord will pour his blessings upon the people. My, my, my. So today, I charge you before the heavens. That you become a part of rebuilding the tabernacle of David. God is restoring the apostolic ministry. God is restoring the office of the apostle. It has always been there. Just man put it on the shelf. God is restoring the tabernacle of David. It's time for us to establish the tabernacle of David. Apostles establish. Apostles are anointed to establish. That's why you need apostolic anointing. It is time for us to establish heaven on earth. God wants us, family of God, that as we restore the tabernacle of David, we are going to taste of the powers of the age to come. That is powerful. That is prophetic. Hebrews 10 verse 6. Sorry, Hebrews, Hebrews 6 verse 5. Sorry, Hebrews 6 verse 5. I know I said one more scripture. But Hebrews 6 verse 5, this is important. Hebrews 6 verse 5, Hebrews 6 verse 5, and the word of God says, And have felt how good the word of God is, and mighty, and the mighty powers of the age. There's a thing. And the mighty powers of the age and the world to come. God wants us to taste the powers of the age to come. Mm, 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 mm. So we need to be a church, a people, a generation that are true, authentic worshippers, but also a people in a ministry of Judah, of praise. Judah means praise. And when we establish this family, this truth, in our lives, within the ministry, we are going to have our hand in the neck of the enemy. Because why? You will carry the scepter, a scepter of authority. And people will gather because why? They see an open heaven in.
the ministry. They will gather around you because they see an open heaven over your life because you are a carrier of God's presence, of God's glory. Can somebody smell the fragrance of Jesus on your life? Can somebody smell the fragrance of the glory and or the presence of God that as you come in as a peacemaker and a maker of peace, you come in carrying the shalom that you shift the atmosphere manduru broshakata you shift the atmosphere you shift atmospheres you change climates kuraba sandara bashikata you shift atmospheres you change climates because you are the salt of the earth you are the light of the world you are the city set on the hill which cannot be hidden you are an agent of change god Mm. because you're a carrier of God's glory you are a carrier of God's presence you are a carrier of revelation of truth that which is in heaven in the earth be a carrier of the revelation of heaven on earth be a carrier of the revelation of the truth of heaven so that you can establish that in the earth be a carrier of the revelation of truth come on somebody just put that up be a carrier of the revelation of the truth of heaven because jesus says as it is in heaven so let it be in the earth Oh my god It's time for us to take territory it's time for us to possess land it's time for us to pitch up our tents it's time for us to pitch up the tent of the tabernacle of David now family of God Prophetic worship needs to become stronger within us within the place of sanctuaries within the places that God leads us and assigns us to go. And so that we can become a nation that is seeking after God. I am seeking after God. I am seeking God not a religion not a church not the god of this world not religion i am seeking god somebody put that up i am seeking god i am seeking god i am seeking god that's right i am seeking god hmm i am seeking God 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 I am doing God Somebody put that up. I am doing God. I'm not doing church. I'm not doing a God. I am doing God. I'm seeking God. I'm doing God. Father, I give you praise. The Lord is releasing an anointing on you now to stir you up right now to stir your spirit up that you become a part of the company of people that will restore and, and establish the tabernacle of David in your life personally and in the hearts of people 
and in the sanctuaries where God assigns you to go. God is looking for yielded and willing vessels that want God. Father, I give you praise. I give you glory. Just take a moment and worship God. God, do a new thing within your people. Do a new thing from today, Lord. Do a new thing within them, Lord. La brando rubro shi katara babanda rababa shi eda raba suto rubro sa kira babanda rababa ndere rebre kamandro sanda rababa shi anda raba se kora baba si anda raba baba 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 si anda raba baba shi katara babanda re raba suto rubro shanda raba le brando rubro shi anda raba baba shi ke la braka sunda raba Thank you for the fire of God consuming the hearts of people, consuming the lives of people on this broadcast right now. The fire of God, the anointing of God released to destroy every yoke of bondages upon you, to lift every weight of religion, tradition and culture off you now. And to break the religious spirit over you and release the spirit of liberty within you now for you to worship God in spirit and in truth. Thank you, Father. Come on, just worship Him right now. Kera ba 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 shi anda ra ba 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 son da da ba se. Enda ni. Enda ni for you. God, we want to live for you, Lord. Surrendered hearts to God. Surrendered hearts to God. Yield the vessels to God. Enda ni. That's our prayer, King of Glory, is for you to have your way in us, King of Glory. For you to have your way in us, King of Glory. I'm looking for true worshippers. I'm looking for true worshippers that are willing to surrender to God. To pick up your cross and follow Jesus. Lay your burdens at the cross. Die to self. Die to self. You decrease and allow God to increase in you. Allow God to redesign you. Allow God to reconstruct you. Allow God to make you over again. Just worship. Just engage and connect in the spirit. Everything. God is doing a new thing in your life from tonight. I decree it and I declare it in Jesus' name. A fresh outpouring of the presence of God, of the anointing of God, of the Spirit of God. 
right now upon you where you at right now in Jesus name Kuraba sanda da ba 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 sha ra ba 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 de 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 bre shi ke ta ra ba 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 sha kura ba 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 ndo ro ro shi ka nda da ba 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 sha God, get everything out of me that not supposed to be in me. Get everything out of me that does not glorify you, God. Search my heart, O oh God. Search my heart and remove all wickedness out of my heart. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Lord, we give you all of you. We give all of us to you. All of me, I give to you. Oh, I want all of you, Jesus. I want all of God. Somebody must just put that up on the comment section. I want all of God. I want all of God. I don't want church. I want all of God. Make me over again. Make me more like Jesus. Jesus is the pattern. Jesus was a worshiper. He worshiped the Father. Koraba sanda. Lebran do roboshi katara baba 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 baba. Kira baba son do roboshi katara baba ndada baba baba shike. Rabando robro si katara baba ndada baba shiele. Rabando robro si andada baba bando robro si katara baba baba. I release apostolic anointing upon you now. That God will take it to a higher dimension and a deeper dimension of truth. God will take it to a higher dimension and deeper dimensions of truth. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, breaking all restraints on you now. In the name of Jesus, my God, that you will have encounter the spirit of liberty, the spirit of God to worship and praise God in liberty, with liberty, in truth, in spirit and in truth. Raba ba 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 son do robro shi kata ra ba 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 do robro raba do robro shi kata ra ba ba do robro shi kanda ra ba ba raba ba 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 man do robro shi kanda ra ba 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 son la ba do robro shi kata ra ba 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 do robro shi anda ra ba 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 sa ya raba ba do robro shi kata ra ba ba do robro shi kata ra ba ba do raba do robro shi anda ra ba ba so to robro shi anda ra ba ba si ke le brenda da 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 ba se da 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 ba 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 sa ya le brando robro shi anda da da ba 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 sa ya ki da na na mando robro sa anda da ba ba si kata ra ba ba raba do robro shi anda da ba ba so to robro shi kata ra ba raba do robro shi kata ra ba 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 do robro shi ka ra ba 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 shi anda ra ba 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 so to robro sa ya oh ra ba 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 Lord, thank you, Father, that you do a new thing in our life. Open the eyes of our heart, Lord. We want to see you, God. Oh, we want to see. We want to see your glory. Hide us in the cliff, O God. Kura ba 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 shi anda ba 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 sukata. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Open the eyes of my heart. We want to be a generation of holiness. 
We want to be a generation that seeks after God, that seeks after holiness, seeks after the presence of God, seeks after the glory of God. Open the eyes of my heart, oh God. I want to see you, God. Oh, Take your people to another dimension, God. Thank you, Lord, for this release of this anointing upon your people right now. I worship you, Father. I worship you. I worship you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you do it for your people. God, use your people. Use your people for your glory. For your glory. For your glory. Fill them up right now with fresh oil. Thomas David says, he anoints my head with oil. My cup runneth over. I release fresh oil upon you now. To take you to your next dimension. Into this place of this truth of revelation released to you through this broadcast and layers that's been placed on you through religion, tradition and culture is been lifted off you now you have access to enter in you have access to enter in the veil has been torn you have access to enter in. Enter into his rest. Enter into his rest. The blood of Jesus covers you to enter you in. For you to enter in. You enter in by you being covered. Washed in the precious blood of Jesus. So that you can have intimacy with Father. Allow Him to love on you. Allow Him to hug on you. Allow Him to heal you. Allow Him to restore you. Allow Him to revive you. Allow Him to refresh you. Allow Him to bring deliverance through this. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you for restoration. Thank you for healing. Thank you for deliverance. Higher, higher, deeper, deeper, higher, deeper, higher, deeper, higher, deeper, higher, deeper. Flesh cannot go there. Come away with me. Come away with me, my beloved. Come away with me. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Higher, deeper, higher, deeper, higher, deeper. I want to be in tune with the frequency of heaven. My house shall be called a 
house of prayer. Glory to God. Higher, deeper, wider. Higher, deeper, wider. Higher, deeper, wider. Higher, deeper, wider. May God take you higher in Him, deeper in Him, wider in Him. May God enlarge your territory. May God, en may God enlarge and expand Himself in you. I prophetically decree this word over you tonight. Those who are on this platform, God, and those who are going to watch it later, God is going to expand and enlarge himself within you. And when that happens, watch this, every enemy within you is going to be scattered in Jesus' name. So that you will operate in a greater dimension. A presence dimension, a glory dimension. And we will see the demonstration of miracle signs and wonders. have received from the Lord just type in there I have received I have received I have received from the Lord mm. thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord oh my 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord wants to take you on a journey in Him that you've never been before. Get ready. Get ready. The anointing of God has been released through this airways right now. God is going to take you on a new journey. So Father, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for everything said and done on this platform. I give you praise, I give you glory, I give you honor. Now God, glorify yourself, glorify yourself. And may the eyes of your precious people's understanding be opened and be enlightened to this present truth and revelation. To begin a new work within them so they can go out and do what you've called them to do. That they will go out and rebuild and establish the tabernacle of David. Father, forgive us. Wherever we failed you in thought, in words, or in deeds, we apologize, Father, for disrespecting you, dishonoring you, displeasing you in our lives, in our gatherings. 
in the house of God. In our worship and praise. Holy Spirit, help us to give God exactly what He wants in the manner in how in which He wants it and how He wants it. Because we want to please God. We want to glorify God. As you said in your word, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto thee. Let us be a generation that lifts up God, that lifts up the name of Jesus. And remain humble. Kingdom seekers. Diligent seekers. glory that the garment of restriction I I, I, I sense in this oh thank you Lord mm, 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 mm. thank you um, I hear the angel of the Lord saying that some of you have been restricted restriction has been placed on you and I literally saw the garment of restriction been lifted off you now so that you will be able to worship God freely, willingly with liberty giving God exactly what he wants and what he deserves and worshipping God in spirit and in truth hmm that garment of restriction is lifted off you now in Jesus name. If that is for you, just type in there. Confirmation. That's all. Just put the word confirmation. The garment of restriction. I prophetically lifted and remove it off you now. Thank you. Thank you for that confirmation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that confirmation. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Thank you for that confirmation. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, rababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababab
Pastor Wilma, I hear the angel of the Lord saying, I see the word soar. Soar. S-O-A-R. Soar. I see the word of the Lord is soar. And mm, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Margie Sims. The Lord get God gets all the glory. Thank you for the confirmation. Um, I see the word so S A S O R sorry S O A R sorry. This is for you, Pastor Woman. The word so and I see in the spirit that you are soaring. You are soaring. The Lord wants you to know that you are soaring higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and higher you are soaring above situations you are soaring above circumstances you are soaring above the challenges at hand you are soaring in the spirit but watch this not just soaring in the spirit but you're going to be soaring in your natural habitation as well around you thank you lord that's the word of the lord to you pastor wilma the word soul 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 higher soul Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. You're soaring, Pastor Wilma. That's right. That's right. That's right. You're soaring. Nothing's going to hold you down. Nothing's going to bring you down. You are just soaring. That's what I see. Okay. Minister Kelly. Kelly. Minister Kelly. I don't know if you're still on. I'm sorry if I can't see who's still on. Um, Minister Kelly. Um, I hear the angel of the Lord saying that I am your true rest. In me, you will take refuge and you will find strength. And in this place uh, of your quiet time with the Lord, in this place, confident trust is going to emerge within you for you to be confident in who you are. Be confident in what God has called you to do, to be, to do, to say, and to become. Confidence is emerging within you. Confidence is emerging within you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That you will take your offense position of confidence. And you're not backing down. Listen to me. You are not backing down. Are you hearing this? You are not backing down. That's for you. Amen. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father.
Naomi, Naomi Williams. I hear the angel of the Lord is saying for you to come away with me. Come away with me. Leave the place of the normality and familiarity. People, location, and places. And come away with me. You will find me when you seek me diligently, willingly, humbly. As you remain in habitation in the presence of the Lord. He says, I want to do a new thing in your life. God says, I want to do a new thing in your life. I want to do a new thing in your life. And I want to do a new thing with you. With you. So he says, come away with me, Naomi Williams. Naomi Williams. Mm. Laura Kelly, my spiritual daughter, are you still on? Laura Kelly. Laura Kelly. Lord Akiri. I hear the angel of the Lord saying to you, you are in your preparation period. And in this process, the Lord is processing you, but he's calling you to a place of consecration. Consecration and sanctification. God wants to do the inner healing and the deliverance within you. Because God wants to do a great work in your life. And God is going to speed up the process. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to speed up the process for you. Speed up the process for you. Mm. Speed up the process for you. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. Thank you, Father. Who else is on? I don't know who else is on. If you received a word from the Lord, please, um, you know, just type in their confirmation. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I don't know who else is on. Um, thank you, Lord. If you're on, please indicate. It's okay. Um, it's up to you. It's your decision. Amen. So, bless your heart, family. Um, Caroline, are you still on? Caroline Moodley. Yeah. I'm not too sure if you're still on. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Margie. God bless you. God gets all the glory. Thank you. Thank you for your obedience. Thank you. Thank you, Leverge. God bless you. Caroline Moodley. I hear the angel of the Lord saying to you, Thank you, Naomi Williams. God bless you. I hear the angel of the Lord saying to you that I'm calling you away. I'm calling you away. I'm calling you away to be like Mary, to sit at my feet and to glean from me but in this place watch this watch this in this place he says i'm going to love on you mm. <laughs> wow he says in this place i'm going to love on you but i'm calling you to a place 
to position yourself like Mary and sit at my feet and lean. And lean. And lean. And he's going to love on you. He's going to pour into you. And he's going to do an inward work that's going to bring about a radical outward manifestation. That God will get the glory and that will impact, influence and change people's lives. That's for you. Amen. <laughs> All right. That's for you, Caroline Moodley. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. I give you praise. Amen. If that's confirmation, please type in confirmation if you have received the word of the Lord. Please type in confirmation. We want to give God praise. We want to give God glory. We want to give God honor. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Um, to my spiritual daughter, Deacon Giselle Couch, are you still on? Are you still on? Amen. Thank you for all those that typed in confirmation. Thank you. Thank you. God gets the glory. Thank you. Deacon Giselle Couch, are you still on? I'm not too sure. Okay. All right. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not too sure if you're still on. Okay, awesome. This is the word. This is I hear the angel of the Lord saying to you, I see, I see. Um, mm, mm, I see God doing a new thing in your life and um, I see God challenging you to do things in a new way. Um, in a new way. Yeah, in a new way and it's challenging you and I see you carrying like Mary Madeline carry the carrying this box the alabaster box I see you carrying this alabaster box and 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 and, and right now you're not concerned about anything what's happening around you in terms of you're not moved by anything and you're not moved by what people are saying you are just doing what God wants you to do and you want to give God what he deserves. And so God says, I'm holding you through this process. And he says, I've got you. And he says, you might not understand everything. But I will make it known to you. But that your heart is drawn towards me. In wanting to give me all of you. And wanting to give me what I truly deserve and want you to give me the best. God says, I see your heart drawn towards me. And he says, as you draw nigh unto me, I am drawing nigh unto you. And I'm going to work things out for you. But he says, be open to the new that I've begun to do through the broadcast tonight as you received impartation in Jesus name in Jesus name all right that's for you Giselle Couch amen God bless you amen thank you Laura I received the blessings of the Lord um, thank you, thank you. I need this. I need all the prayers, and and <clears throat> I receive it. 
I receive it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I receive it in Jesus' name. Well, family of God, I thank you all for being on. And I pray God bless you all. Bless you, your family, your home, your children, your ministry. Um, thank you, daughter. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Giselle, bless your heart. Thank you. God gets all the glory. Um, I love you all with the love of the Lord. Um, thank you all for being on. Please share this broadcast. Please go back and watch this broadcast. Um, go back and listen and, and go back and, and hear the prophetic word of the Lord if you have received. Um, um, we give God praise. Um, love you all so much with the love of the Lord and uh, continue to stay true to God and stay in God and love on God and allow Him to love you. Amen. Amen. Um, war with the prophetic word. Um, wage war with the prophetic word that's been released. Amen. Um, yeah, bless you family. Love you all so much. Um, oh, wow. Thank you, Father. Um, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> all right. Love you all so much. Um, if you feel led by the Holy Spirit to do, you would like to sow a seed, you're welcome to do that as the Holy Spirit leads you. You may do that. Okay, but love you all so much. Um, Edwin Lachmeyer. Lach, uh, Edwin, Edwin, Edwin. Listen to this. Listen, Edwin, this is for you. <laughs> oh, God. This is for you, Edwin. Um, thank you. I hear the angel of the Lord saying to you, there's a new thing I want to do within you and within your life, but I see that you are in a place, um, you might not know it, but I'm going to release it to you. You're in a place with yourself, with yourself. Um, there's a place, it looks like you are limited and you are stuck. But the Lord is saying, I've got more for you. I've got more for you and there's more that I want to do within your life. Yeah, that's what I see. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And you love the Lord. And you're a true man of God. But God says, I want to do more within you. Because you are called to do more. Jesus promised of the more to come, people of God. He did. He promised of the more to come. And, 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 and you will not be able to do that if you remain constrained in your conf confinement by what you assume to yourself of your perception of where you're at. You need to be doing God. Be doing God and not be doing church. May God cover you with his grace and intervene in your life, in your home, in your family, and within your working environment in Jesus' name. I command to turn around in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Amen. La Verge de Net. La Verge de Net. La Verge de Net. Mm. La Verge de Net. I hear the angel of the Lord saying that you are not a mess. The mess that you've gone through in life was, a, was to bring forth a message. And not just to bring forth a message, but to bring you forth as the message. <laughs> right. To bring you forth as the message. Um... And I believe that God is going to restore you and restore your life. Thank you. Restore you, restore your life as you look to him. And you be confident in your intimate relationship with God that you're not moved by anyone or anything. 
Are you understanding this? You're going to worship God the way he wants to be worshipped. You're not going to allow people to place restrictions on you. I believe God will restore your life. God will restore your dignity. And God wants to give you better. God wants to give you better. God wants to give you better. And know that you are destined for great things. Stop undermining yourself. Yeah, stop undermining yourself and uh, bringing yourself down. Okay, that is for you, um, La Verge. That's for you. 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 Amen. 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 You receive the word of the Lord. Amen. Thank you. God gets all the glory. Um, mm. Megan. Megan Courtney. I don't know if you're still on. Megan. I'm not too sure if you're still on. Uh, my network is saying slow connection, so Megan Courtney. All right, awesome, you're still on. I hear the angel of the Lord saying to you, God says that he's going to perfect that which concerns you. And so you've been waiting. And you are waiting on the Lord. And God says that you're waiting in me. Um, you have been waiting on me. Okay, watch this. You've been waiting on me. And in this waiting on me, the Lord says, now I'm shifting you from waiting on me to waiting in me. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord. I'm shifting you from waiting on me to waiting in me. So there's a shift taking place with you now. Yeah. And the shift is for you to wait in him. There's a shift. I just sense the Holy Ghost and fire just move right now. As I say, I mentioned that word shift. Okay. So there's a shift from waiting on God to waiting in God. Hmm. Okay, thank you, thank you. And the Lord is saying to you, Father wants you to know that he's going to perfect that which concerns you. Everything that concerns you, he's going to perfect that. Because he's perfect in all of his ways, He's a perfect father. He's a good, good father. He's going to perfect that for you. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. That's what the angel of the Lord is saying to you, uh, Megan Courtney, um, that is going to perfect that which concerns you. Just give him your plans and make sure that your plans line up to the purpose of God. The shift has come for you through this word that's been released now. There's a shift that the shift has come right now for you. And listen to this, Megan Courtney. It won't be long. 
take comfort in this word. It won't be long. I hear the angel of the Lord saying, It won't be long. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father. You get all the praise, the glory, and the honor. <sighs> Thank you all for being on tonight. I'm not too sure if there's anyone else on that I have not seen. Um, I don't want to just go off if I'm not if I, I'm not too sure if you're on. I don't want to. Please don't think that I'm coming across to be disrespectful if I do go off. Um, but if I have not, you know, greeted you or, or prayed with you or for you, um, please let me know. Please let me know if you're on. Um, thank you, Megan Courtney. God gets the glory. Um, mm. And let me tell you what that shift is for, Megan. Do you know what that shift is for? That shift is for your God next. Not man's next. God next. Your God next. God, where you want me to be? What do you want me to do? How do you want me to do it? That shift is into your God next, for your God next, okay? Um, okay. Father, I pray for Lach, Lachmaya, Lachmia, sorry if I pronounce it incorrectly, uh, Des, Desiree, yeah, Desiree. Father, I pray, I come up against every work of the enemy. I come up against every plan of the enemy. I come up against every assignment of the enemy right now in Jesus' name. I come up against every attack of the enemy over a body, a health, her life right now. In Jesus' name. I command it to stop and I cancel it in Jesus' name. I bind every sickness, disease and spirit of infirmities. I rebuke it and I bind it in Jesus' name. And I decree and I declare the release of divine healing grace upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy divine health. I decree and I declare that you shall live and not die to declare the works of Jesus Christ. I release healing grace upon you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Kellen Beto. Kellen Beto. I keep on seeing one word. Business. 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 Please, can you indicate that to me if, if, if that's correct? Business. I see one word, business. Business, business. That's what I see, business. You might have one. You're trusting God for another. Or you are trusting God to go into business or do business. Um, but I, I just see the word business. I just want you to confirm that for me, please. Kellen Beto. Please confirm that for me, please. I see the word business. 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 Okay. He's trusting God. All right. So we're on track. Thank you, Lord. So business. Um, the Lord is saying to you, Proverbs 19, verse 21. Please write this down. If, you, if you're at home, write it down. Proverbs 19, verse 21. Many are the plans of a man's heart, but it's the purpose of God that shall prevail. I hear the end of the Lord saying to you that you got to make sure that your plans is in the plan of God. You take your plans and you align your plans to God's purpose for your life, pertaining to your life and pertaining to uh, the business aspect. And you trust God to give you guidance and direction and understanding. That's, that's the strategy you need to receive. Okay, and it's going to require you to take some time uh, to, to, to be in a time of prayer and fasting and waiting on the Lord. Okay, 
and, and, and the Lord will lead and guide you and direct you. Okay, that's for you, Kellen. I pray God's grace upon you, God's grace upon your family, God's grace upon your home. And I pray for God to bless you, protect you, preserve you, keep you and sustain you. And, um, and to help you to walk in total obedience to God and his word. Um, in Jesus' name. 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 God richly bless you, Kellen. And I pray God bless you and your family in abundance. God truly open doors for you guys that no man can shut. And God protect you. God protect you. Keep you, sustain you. And give your grace to carry you through this process. You and your family. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Um, La Verge, Danette, Apostle, thank you. Um, all thanksgiving goes to our Lord. That's correct. God gets all the glory. I have to go because I'm at work. Please pray for me. Yes, I have prayed for you. I, re I bless you in the name of the Lord, La Verge. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in while you're at work. God bless you uh, in Jesus' name and keep you and and, and provide for you. Um, Queenie Naidu, please pray for me. Father, we thank you for Queenie. Um, Lord, we lift her up to you. I pray, God, that you will help her. Pray, God, that you will heal her. Pray, God, that you will bless her. Thank you for healing in our total body right now in Jesus' name. Father, we come into an agreement. Whatever she is trusting you, God, to do, we come into an agreement by faith. And we trust you, God, for you to intervene on behalf of Queenie, Na Queenie and Nido's life. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you already know everything. God, we trust you and we look to you and we ask you, God, to stretch out your hand upon our life, our family. And we pray for your divine intervention. In the name of Jesus, we're thanking you, God, for miracles, signs, and wonders. And we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, family, God bless you all. Thank you all for being on. Um, wow, the Lord, the Lord really met with all of us today on this platform. And he gets all the glory. Please continue to pray for me as I pray for you. I love you all with the love of the Lord. Father, I pray for everyone on this platform, those who were here and have gone off and those who will watch it later. Father, I pray, God, for each and every one of them. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and grant you peace and unmerited favor. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you in Jesus' name. May you have favor with God and favor with man. I cancel every dead spirit. I cancel every accident spirit. I cancel every premature death. I decree and I declare that you shall live and not die to declare the works of Jesus Christ. You are blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed coming in, blessed going out in Jesus' name. I decree and I declare the shalom of God, the peace of God, the grace of God upon your life, your home, your family, your children, your marriage in Jesus' precious name, your ministry, your business in Jesus' name. Father, we're thanking you and we're giving you praise, glory and honor in Jesus' name. Well, family of God, um, this is Apostle Joseph Osborne, a bond servant of Jesus Christ, an ambassador, a citizen of the kingdom. I love you all with the love of the Lord. Thank you all for being on Covenant Partners, Ministers, Ministries, uh, Covenant Spiritual Sons and Daughters. God bless you all. And to those who have joined on, God bless you all in abundance. Keep on seeking the Lord. Keep on trusting God in everything and through everything. Amen. Stay focused on the Lord. Look unto Jesus who is the author and the finisher of your faith. This is a season of possibilities. Amen. Amen. I love you all. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Shalom. Until we see each other face to face or on this platform again, you stay in the Lord. Amen. Love you all. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I release God's peace into your home and your family. I pray for a blessed rest, a blessed sleep to all of you in Jesus' name. I just release God's shalom into your home now in Jesus' name. I release God's peace into your home now in Jesus' name. 
In Jesus' name, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you glory and we give you honor. Thank you, Lord. I receive it in Jesus' name. Bless you, my daughter, my spiritual daughter. God bless you. Love you much all the way from USA. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, love you all so much. Amen. Love you all. Keep on praying for me as I pray for you. Shalom. Good night.